So I kind of wanted to just go over this with you as well. Um, so I know you're going to be doing this tomorrow and we've done this in the past as well. And I've kind of told you how sequencing goes with summarizing a little bit. Okay. And that's kind of what I'm going to show you right now is how those two work together. So we have our first, next, then, finally. That's what we sequenced before. We got those by pulling that out of the book that we read. Okay, that's how you guys figured that out. Now, whenever we, after we sequenced our stuff, we can put these in order of how they happen to summarize our story or summarize, I guess in this case, of how to make thunder cake. Okay, that's what we did. So we can put these events in order of how they happen and that can be our summary because summarizing is kind of the same as sequencing. Okay, we can use our sequenced ideas to summarize our um, story or how to make thunder cake. So let's go ahead and put this together and just see how our summary sounds. So we're using these words because these words help us tie the story together or tie, tie the summary together and make, make it flow a little bit better. So first, first the girl and the grandma gathered the ingredients. Next, they measured the ingredients and put them into the bowl to be mixed. Then they poured the batter into the pan and baked it. Finally, they took the pan out of the oven and iced the cake. Okay, we have our summary right there. We sequenced our events by putting those red words in there, the first, next, then, finally, it ties it all together, makes it into a summary, okay? So that's what you're gonna be doing as well tomorrow is just sequence your events and then they will ask you to put it all together to form a summary. So you're just going to literally take your sequenced events, your first, next, then, finally, and write it again down where it, write, where it tells you to write that summary at, okay? So sequencing really ties together with summarizing very well. A lot of the times it's because you're not putting those very little details into your writing and you're putting it in your own words. You're summarizing this into your own words. So whenever you sequence, make sure you're putting that into your own words as well. Um, I think that's it. Uh, be ready tomorrow to complete something sort of like this. It's gonna be a lot smaller of a story than what we did today, um, just for you guys to do on your own. And then you will send that to me, but don't worry about that today. That will be an assignment for tomorrow. So go ahead, continue on with your slide presentation.